Hey, what's up? It's JD Tate. It's been a minute since I've done a video, and as you can see, my appearance has changed actually quite a bit, but then again, this is pretty normal for me to change my hair a lot, so... Anyways, um, as you can tell by the title of this video, this is my hedgehog picking my makeup. Um, she is over here. She kind of is mad because we just filmed this all, and they are nocturnal creatures in case you don't know, so this is her time to be sleeping. <laughs> um... I apologize for the sound of my voice, by the way. I am still kind of sick, so I sound kind of nasally and like, meh. But um, without further ado, let's just get started. But I'm going to introduce you guys to the star real quick. This here's Lily. She is pretty mad. She's on her back. They hate being on their backs. Here, why don't you walk a little? There you go. Yeah, she is the real player right now because I clipped her nails before this, gave her a foot bath, woke her up in the middle of the day, and then made her pick a bunch of makeup. So she's kind of the real player. I'm just going to go ahead and put her back in her little pet carrier, and then we're going to get started and we'll show her at the end again. To start off with, I actually I didn't have her pick. Um, primer for me because I only use one primer. It may not look like it with this lighting, but your girl's got quite a bit of redness going on. If you hear like little scratching noises in the background, that's her. She is burrowing inside of the cage because that's what they do. If you want to see like a Q&A or a meet my pet, let me know down in the comments below. Color correct, which I didn't let her choose either, but that's because I only really use the BH Cosmetics palette. My mirror's over here, so if you see me looking this way a lot, it's because my mirror's over here. On to the actual part where she started to pick. I actually have like all the makeup that she picked over here, and then I have all my brushes and like some of my staple products over here, like brows and stuff you already saw. So I'm gonna get her out, and I'm gonna let her choose. Here she is. She's a little cranky because she got her nails clipped and she should be asleep right now. So go pick a foundation. Oh, she got fuzzy on her. Okay, that's not a foundation. So I put them facing this way, whichever way she gravitates towards, or she's just gonna go off the table. She walked on this one, but then again, I did kind of coax her to do it, so hopefully the other ones will go better, but I'm going to use this foundation. Um, so what she picked for foundation ended up being my everyday foundation when I do wear foundation, and that is the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. I usually put quite a bit on. Yeah, put some on my chin. A little bit on my nose. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my Real Techniques sponge. To quickly do my brows off camera, I didn't have her choose brow product because I only use the, like one brow product when I have my hair a certain color. So anyways, I'm going to go do my brows off camera. Oh, she's actually investigating this time. Cocoa powder's probably freaking her out. They have very sensitive smell. That is not the direction you're supposed to go. Come pick one of these. Lily. Come on. Pick one. Okay, she's walked over this one twice, so we're going to go with it. So... I'm an idiot, and I didn't check to see if it was recording, so after I did my eyebrows, I did my contour, I set my under eyes, and luckily that's all I did. Well, I also did eye primer, and I was about to start the eyes when I'm like, shit, maybe I should check. Yeah, no, that wasn't recording, so since you missed it, um, I just set my under eyes with my regular e.l.f. powder, she didn't choose anything. And then I went in with the contour palette she chose, and this is stuff, it's like, it's not pigmented, like, you can hardly see it. Like, it's subtle on my nose, but, like, it's there to a point. Anyways, like, it's kind of on the jawline and kind of in the temples, but I had to, like, pack it on there. I am not good at cream contour. She's like, well, Mom, I just want to go back to bed, and you keep having me run around. 
No, stop gravitating to me. I know you love me, but... She is determined to be over there. Oh, I think you sniffed this one quite a bit. We're going with it. As you can see, she chose the Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. I've had this palette for literally so long. It's not even funny. <laughs> kind of bad. Anyways, um, so since I primed my eyes with the Urban Decay Shadow Potion, I'm just going to go in with the lightest shade in the palette, which is Foxy, on a flat brush, and just set that. Okay. Um, next I'm going to go in with a transition shade that you can tell has been well used, and that is Tease. I actually used to use it to contour which it was like the perfect contour shade for me. It still is. I just actually wanted to use something that wasn't eyeshadow for once. So this is just on a Beach Cosmetics big fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend this into the crease. Next, I am going to go in with, hmm, maybe I should have had her choose colors in this because, like, I'm kind of, like, really tempted just to put the black underneath my eye and go straight to liner. <laughs> and I am going to go in with the black just a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm going to go underneath my eye because... Intense eyeliner and black smoky eyes with red particularly or any other like deadish color blues are actually good too. Is kind of my thing. I usually use more than one eyeshadow palette. So this is like really confusing for me. Kind of bring this up a little bit. If I ever do black eyeshadow underneath, or actually if I just do even gel liner under here. I will always bring up a little bit and that really helps connect the look later on when I do my winged eyeliner. Because it one gives me a base to go off of and two it's just so blended and beautiful. I'm actually going to go I think kind of simple so let me find this eyeshadow brush. This is the Real Techniques just shading brush and I'm going to go in with shade Booty Call which I used to use as a highlight and I'm just gonna pack that slightly on the lid just for a little pop. She thinks I'm food. No. Pick one. I don't know, she stayed on this one the longest. And as you can see, not she, she chose the Wet n Wild Mattifying Powder. This is actually my everyday powder. It has shimmer in it, it's not matte, but it sets my face like a charm. So next I'm going to actually um, use a facial mist that she didn't choose. This is just the Mario Badesco facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I just like to set after I've done my powder and then I'll also set again at the end. The choice is yours, Lily. Pick me a good eyeliner. I mean, they're all good, but... Oh, oh, oh. Actually, I think she was just coming to me, but... We're going with, hey, get off of it now. She really shows this one. So next I'm going to do the liner. So I got the gel liner here. I'm trying to find my gel liner brush. There it is. It's just a BH Cosmetics super flat brush. Okay. With gel liner, 
the one thing that's like absolutely beautiful with it is that you can play it on your waterline and in your tight line. Whereas with liquid you can't. Go pick one. Pick me a good highlighter. Well, she's gravitating towards the Jeffree Star ones. Maybe not. Where are you going? Go pick one. Okay, she walked up to this one, so we're gonna go with Lavender Snow. Going to highlight. Which I kind of gave a sneak peek of what she ended up choosing, but that's completely fine. Highlighter she chose, as you saw, was the Jeffree Star Cosmetics in Lavender Snow, which is blinding. So I'm actually just going to take my finger, put a little bit on my nose, a little bit in my bridge. I like to use my finger specifically because it gives a more melted in and subdued look with these powders. I've also been doing it with my liquid highlighters that I do too, but it's another story. I'm gonna take a little bit and just... Do you see that glow? Lily, come back. Okay, you cannot go off the table. How many times do I have to tell you that? Okay, pick. For mascara, she ended up choosing the Milani Lash Trifecta, which this mascara I have had for so long and used it so much, so I don't really know how much is in here, so I'm really glad actually we're doing lashes today. But I'm just going to coat my lashes. That's all that matters, because we're just going to cover it up anyways. It is a really good mascara, but like I said, mine's so old and used up. I don't know how well you can see those, but there are three pairs of lashes out. And let her pick. Does that mean those lashes? I think it does. So as you saw, she chose my Ardell Demi Wispies, which are actually like my favorite lashes of all time. I have not done false lashes though in a minute. Like, I don't wear them every day like I used to because I think I started developing a latex sensitivity and I was too cheap to go buy a latex free lash glue until I was out of my current lash glue, which I was close enough to out of my other lash glue. So I finally went and bought a latex free one and then I started wearing lashes again, but still not that consistently because they do take time. Anyways, I think it's tacky enough. Let's just put them on. That's not picking one, that's hiding. It's not even hiding, it's freezing. Pick one. I am not a lip product. <laughs> okay, she walked through this one. That seems to be her method, so we're going with butter gloss today. So as you can see, Lily chose the NYX Butter Gloss in Creme Brulee, which is like the only lip gloss that I wear. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. Nothing underneath it. I moisturized my lips. She was sleeping. Have you ever seen a hedgehog ball? They're so cute. Well, now she's sticking her feet out, so she's not quite a ball. She's also sticking her quills up, which hurt a lot. But this is the final look. What do you think of the look you picked? Does mommy look pretty? If you want to see a video on Lily, just let me know. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.